Oh, hello all. We uh, have come over to the east side of Toowoomba and this to visit Captain Cook Park. Now, Captain Cook Park is a large park, it's a lot bigger than what we have here. This is only a bit of it. And there's units here and then there's another park on the other side and then there's a big park on the other side of the road so we'll show you that once we've done our rounds here it looks like. <laughs> Nothing like checking out the fences. Lots of smells along the fences. And that's why they like the fences. Because it's often doggies on the other side of the fences to say hello to. And lots of P-Mail to check out because we've never been here before. So this is a new adventure. It is a new adventure. And looks like there's a park over there as well. On the other side of this road. As I say, there's lots of parks here that make up this whole thing. Wow, look at that thing. A wattle. It's blooming. Leaves. Go check out the leaves. Lots of leaves. So we'll just keep on continuing and ex go exploring. So here we have an airport sign and an airport. So this is uh, Toowoomba City Aerodrome and World Camp is the uh, one that's owned by the Wagners and shareholders which is the international one which is mostly freight and that's out of town a bit which we went to oh, quite a few months ago when we went past the RSPCA so what this one caters for now is the helicopters the emergency helicopters so the ones that fly over my house they, this is where they come in they go to the hospital and can then come over here to fuel up and this is where their base is oh yeah puddles she's discovered a puddle she's a water wolf a little bit of rain this morning enough to dirty the car but that's about it she won't let him pee on the pole maybe the tree no not the tree it doesn't smell right. So yeah, so you would expect there's a lot of major large industrial buildings around, aircraft maintenance, freight. Because this used to be the only airport till a couple of years ago. Van Street Park, dog off leash area with no fences, which is usual, quite typical. He finally managed to get to leave a P-mail, she finally let him on one of these poles. So there's temporary buildings, main roads department, so the main roads department around here is a bit like the Department of Transport 
sort of thing. What it is, the uh, well, it's transport and main road, so it's both. So what happened in Queensland is in the uh, late 70s, the, uh, they split the transport department up. Because uh, what happened is the, uh, the transport department under one of the ministers decided to buy up heaps heaps of land and put in motorways, well full motorways, not to put in, uh, not, um, the motorways never happened. So there's a lot of land and a lot of houses that are owned by the government that were never actually used or built on. And uh, so they uh, they got too big, so they split it between Queensland Transport and Department of Main Roads. And here's the airport. That's a nice plane. Fire and emergency planes. Okay. Dump their uh, the uh, planes. The ones that dump all those water, all that water, like what she's after. She says, I'm still after water. It might be a small puddle, but it's still a puddle. So as I say, they don't really use this airport too much now. It's only for the light aircraft. Anything bigger than a, uh, uh, oh, a Beecham, no, a four prop will go to well camp. This is only for the up to twin prop which is probably at a uh, like an 11 seater will be here and that's about it as you can see that's the front entrance so you can definitely see it's not definitely not a um, international airport of any means it's just really local flights to like other um, outlining towns like, uh, um, I don't know, uh, if you wanted to go out to Warwick, which is probably about a two hour drive away, or Stanthorpe, which is about four hours drive, those sorts of things. They've got the aero clubs all here. And all that sort of thing. Heritage Centre. I didn't know there was a Heritage Centre here. Well, that's pretty cool. More water. You yeah, love your water, don't you? Splish, splash, splish, splash. <laughs> oh dear. You and your water. Toowoomba's newest museum. Oh, well, there you go. That's interesting. And I bet you anything, you can't take dogs in there. Looks like it's uh, mining stuff. There's an old. Really old convey, look at the wheels, they're all steel wheels. On it. More water. Oh dear. Water babies. And he just follows. Come on then. Yeah, a lot of these places you can't go in with dogs so Monday to Friday by appointment yes. okay so it's run by the Department of Main Roads supported by Wagner's there that's why the uh, in mining stuff because what it is Wagner's is a uh, local company Toowoomba company and um, it has a couple of quarries uh, some old and they've been going for not that long, probably know, about 60 years. So they're pretty new. Started up by a couple of brothers, and they own the uh, international airport. It birdies, twitting our way. Well, I'll leave you to it. It's a dead end around here, so I had to turn around and go back catch up with you soon. See you.
for those of you who are interested in old trucks. <laughs> a rare beast. No Chevy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The cunny, the cunny, the cunny. The cunny, you'll get squashed. But that's a big thing. 